Ever wondered why your furry friends sometimes turn into furry frenemies? Let's dive into the seven reasons why your dogs might be fighting each other. Reason one, it's all about the dominance. Sometimes dogs just need to figure out their pack order. Here's how to handle two dogs that are locked in a dominance struggle. Establish clear boundaries and rules within the home to reduce confusion over territory. Desensitization and counterconditioning training to help dogs feel more comfortable with others in their space. Positive reinforcement to reward non-aggressive behavior when other dogs or people enter their territory. Reason two, resource guarding. Yep, that's right. From toys to your attention, dogs can get a bit possessive. Dogs have a natural instinct to guard resources that are important to them. This could manifest as growling, snapping, or biting near their food, bed, or a favorite toy. Ensure that each dog has access to their own toys, beds, and feeding spaces. Feeding dogs separately and on a schedule can help mitigate food-related aggression. Pay attention to how you distribute attention and affection, as dogs can become jealous if they feel slighted. Reason three, lack of socialization. Dogs that aren't used to other pups might not play nice at first. A well-socialized dog is typically less fearful and less likely to display aggression because it has learned to cope with various situations, animals, and people. The most crucial period for puppy socialization is between three to 14 weeks of age, where positive experiences can set the stage for future behavior. With adopted dogs, you often lack insight into their socialization history, which can make predicting and understanding their behavior more challenging. You can socialize a dog that's aggressive toward other dogs. If you can, seek the guidance of a professional dog trainer or behaviorist who can provide a tailored approach. Reason four, high energy levels. Too much pent up energy can lead to some rough housing. Take your dogs on separate walks and give them plenty of yard time to burn off energy. Play with both dogs and show them that you aren't a resource that needs fought over. Reason five, nature and genetics. Different breeds, different needs. Terriers are feisty with a strong chase instinct. Watch out, they can get scrappy. Herding dogs like Border Collies may try to round up their pals, leading to a rough time. Guard dogs such as Rottweilers stand their ground, sometimes a bit too fiercely with other fur friends. Know your breed. Do your homework on your dog's breed traits and quirks. Strategies for managing breed-related issues. Train, socialize, and play nice. Start socialization early. Consistent training helps keep those breed habits in check. Set up playdates with doggy buddies that gel well together. Reason six, fear or anxiety. Just like us, dogs can act out when they're scared. Just like us, dogs fear the unknown. New environments or situations can trigger their anxiety. Look out for the symptoms of anxiety. This could be anything from trembling to excessive barking. Managing anxiety. Keep things predictable and offer lots of reassurance. Training and desensitization can work wonders. Understanding and patience are key. With the right approach, we can help our pets feel safe and secure. And finally, reason seven, medical issues. Sometimes pain or discomfort can make dogs grumpy. When your pooch goes from wags to growls, it's time to think health first. Pain from things like arthritis or dental issues can turn even the gentlest giant grumpy. And it's not just aches and pains, brain health matters too. A tumor or infection could be the unseen culprit behind those snarls. Don't overlook hormones. A thyroid gone haywire might be to blame. And as dogs age, Losing their sight or hearing can make them lash out in fear. If your dog is acting out, it's vet time. They'll help you get to the root of the aggression and keep an eye out for other illness clues, like off eating or sleeping patterns. Now, for the breakup moves. If your dogs are actively fighting, here's what to do. Clap or yell to snap them out of it. A blanket toss can confuse and calm the combat. Got a hose? A gentle spray can break their battle focus. Tool time. Break sticks are a must for power jaw pooches. Leashes looped around the back end can help you pull them apart without a hand-to-fang fiasco. After the dust settles, separate those scrappers to neutral corners. Vet checks are a must for hidden hurts. Watch for stress signals post-scuffle. And for the long haul, dig into what sparked the spar to dodge in next time. A pro trainer can teach old and young dogs new tricks for peacekeeping. Breaking up a fight is just a band-aid. The real cure comes with training and patience. Keep those tails wagging safely, friends. Thank you so much for watching today. We hope this video helps you keep the peace between your dogs at home. For more insights into your dog's behavior, don't forget to like, subscribe, and bark at that notification bell.